a thread by Carlos Osuida. I'm told that three United States Code subsection 19 comes into effect in the case that the election results are delayed for so long that neither Donald Trump nor Biden has been declared the winner by January 20th. This is not correct. Let's look at the text of the law. One, if by reason of death, resignation, removal from office, inability or failure to qualify, there is neither a president nor vice president to discharge the powers and duties of the office of president, then the Speaker of the House of Representatives shall upon his resignation as Speaker and as representatives in Congress act as president from law.cornell.edu. This happens when a sitting president is impacted by any of the above. It does not cover delayed election results in the case of the constitutional order of succession and the contingent elections by the House and Senate. These two don't cover delayed election results. The contingent elections happen after the votes are counted. The House elects the president and the Senate elects the vice president. The House and Senate will need representatives of two-thirds of the states there duly elected. There's absolutely no way that this would be possible if the presidential results have been delayed. Again, the constitutional order of succession comes into play only when there's a sitting president, not when election results have been delayed. The only constitutional and legal answer is that one of Trump's cabinet secretaries becomes president. As for stealing the election, why hasn't it happened yet? They need proof of concept tests and a beta test. We haven't even seen one. You're telling me that the people who can't even stop riots will steal a presidential election and get away with it clean on the first attempt? Logistically, this would require thousands of people to pull off. No double agents, no leaks, perfect loyalty, and a foolproof way to survive audits. We have to get real. Trump is pounding on this because he's got something up his sleeve. He always does this. It's pure Sun Tzu. When strong, appear weak. On the last thread, I got a very intelligent person who's living in a different dimension. He said that the real world is propaganda and the Democrats' propaganda is the real world. And he believes it. My city is in the grip of mass irrationality. I don't ask, why is this happening? I simply keep out of the way. You're asking me to explain the behavior of irrational people. In other words, you're asking me to waste my time. So far, my sister has bought three houses that were our dumps. She knows it before she buys them. In her current house, the toilets have waste pipes that run uphill at such a steep angle that you basically can't flush them. She knew this before she bought the house. This information came in a group email. She didn't explain how her family has adapted to this situation. See, she wanted me to ask. So, of course, I didn't. All three of her kids are box boys at Walmart. Walmart, so is their father. They stack boxes and live on social media. The whole clan is totally irrational, so I have no contact with them. The Democrats are irrational. They can't even explain why they do the things they do, but they can't steal the election, and Pelosi will never be president. Those are facts, and facts are not changed by belief or unbelief.